Sophia, what's wrong with you? Michelle asked. Her friend walked into her study. These two women have been working together for five years. During that time, they became close friends. Sophia lowered her eyes and looked at the floor. Then brushed away the tears from her cheeks. She has been afraid to tell her friends for several days now. About what happened in her family. But she can no longer keep it all hidden in her heart. My husband deceived me. She mustered the courage to say. He has been dating a colleague for six months now. And has been carrying me on my back. I'm a fool. I thought we had a strong family. Sophia exclaimed in pain. Six months. Wow. So what are you going to do? Do you really want to forgive him? Michelle asked. Michelle, what can I do? We have been married for eight years. We have two children who have just started school. Sophia and her husband Harvey gave birth to twins. A month ago. Harvey took them to school. For the first time. He felt proud of his sons. Everything seems perfect. But now Sophia understands. He has had another woman in his heart for a long time. Sophia knew Michelle's view on scammers. So she didn't expect her support in this matter. Her friend and her first husband divorced. Because of this reason, Sophia. Children are not everything. How do you imagine your future together? Do you think he will leave her? He will lie and meet her again and again. Michelle insisted. He won't I'm sure. Sophia said strangely. Turn around and face the window. How did you know? Michelle asked. She passed away three days ago. Michelle's eyes were round and wide. Sophia read the silent question in her eyes. Michelle. Of course I won't do anything. Respect her. But I feel guilty. That day Harvey went to work. But forgot to bring his phone number. I was about to leave when I suddenly remembered our plan for the evening. And decided to clarify whether everything was going on. I called him and heard his phone ring. I thought to myself. What a clumsy person. I picked up his phone and showed me the message. They have been dating for a long time. They work together. Obviously. They found each other there. I read their messages and cried like a fool. I am very hurt and angry. Finally. I sent her a text message on his phone. What text message did you send her? Michelle asked. Scared out. Michelle, I did a terrible thing. I hope she dies. Wow. But in principle. This is not surprising. She deserves your blessing because she has slept with your husband. Sophia continued. Looking at her friend. Unfortunately, that's not all. On the same day. Harvey returned from work. His face pale. I asked what happened. And he told me that his colleague had passed away. I started asking questions. I found out that his mistress had been hit by a car. It happened an hour after I texted. Sophia sat down and sobbed again. Do you think it's your fault? That's nonsense. It's a coincidence. An unfortunate accident. Yes. Strange. Yes. But it's definitely not your fault. You feel sad because your husband cheated on you for six months. Who would like it? By the way. Do you tell him that you know everything? Sophia shook her head. He saw the message. He apologized for a long time. Saying he didn't and didn't understand how everything happened. He said he won't leave me and the children. He loves us Michelle shook her head and asked her friend. If she believed his fairy tale. Sophia nodded. She knows very well that she shouldn't. After listening to any advice. She should have thought with her own mind. But sharing her misfortune made her feel better. He went to her funeral yesterday. 
don't make that face. What can I do? All the employees in their office are there. When he comes back. I even feel sad for him. I'm going crazy. Trying to figure out what it is. Michelle walked over and hugged her friend tightly. This hug made them all feel a bit better. They stood like this for a while and then entered the cafeteria. They ate silently this time. What are they all thinking about? Dissimilarity. Sophia didn't know if she was ready to forgive her husband's mistake. Deep down, she felt that Harvey still loved her. But that's not even the most important thing for her. She knows the fact that her sons worship their children. Perhaps she deceived him? Sophia asked. Unaware that she had already spoken out loud. She had never had such an idea before. But it could also be like this. Right? They live between souls. Making plans, so many good things have happened over the years. Michelle looked at her friend in surprise. Did I say it out loud? Sophia laughed uncontrollably. Yes, Sophia. But if you want to check. I know how to do it. Do you remember Mrs. Romero? Well. That old lady. She dressed very old-fashioned. Rented an office on the third floor. So she looked at tarot cards. We can ask her any question you want to ask. What do you think of this idea? Sophia's eyes flashed with hope. What she suddenly wanted to know was not only about the curse of love. But also about whether her family had a future. She pushed the plate back and agreed to go now. The women took the plates off the table and then went to the elevator. They went up to the third floor. Mrs. Romero's office. She came here six months ago. Many various companies rent offices. In this building. It is obvious that. Mrs. Romero is good at making new friends. Because news about her spreads quickly. Sophia knocked confidently on the door. At this moment. I heard a hoarse voice. Come in. It's a bit dark in the office. The blinds are closed. And the lights are off. Only a little light passes through the window and the room is ventilated. Mrs. Romero is sitting diagonally in a chair. She is wearing a colorful dress and is not accustomed to the office style. She wore a headscarf on her head. At least that she looks unusual. The red lipstick and bright beads on her lips. Mrs. Romero? Sophia asked. Looking at her, the fortune teller nodded and invited the women. I heard you're on the card. Can you read tarot for me? I understand. You have a problem. All right, turn on the light first. Lunch time is almost over. I've been resting for a while. Michelle turned on the light. The office is starting to look much more familiar. Its formidable charm has disappeared. Come on, sit down, dear. Tell me what happened. I thought you were going to tell me yourself. Sophia wanted to know. I'm just a fortune teller. Tell me what's wrong. And then I'll spread out the card Sophia decided to deceive. She talked about her husband's infidelity. Her opponent's death. But she didn't say anything about love spells. Mrs. Romero just shook her head and listened. Then she took her tarot. She shuffled the cards. Spread them out. And looking at them thoughtfully. That's not your husband's fault. The fortune teller confidently said. That woman cast magic on him. I can see for sure. The card told me. The woman's death was not your fault. It was her fate. You have nothing to do with it. What about my husband? How are we together? Mrs. Romero opened the card again. Then she looked at Sophia and mysteriously told her. Now everything depends on you. You see, only you can break the spell yourself. You must forgive your husband and love. It's him again. Love him wholeheartedly. This is the only way to get all the bad things from him. What if I can't? 
Sophia gasped. Then he will die in a year. I can tell you for sure. I am the third generation fortune teller. I won't lie to you. It's up to you to decide whether your husband can't live. Now you know all your choices. You make your own decisions Sophia placed $50 on Mrs. Romero's table. Leaving the office. So what are you going to do? Michelle looked at it and asked. Her friend was frightened. I don't know yet. Sophia replied simply. She thought for a whole day. When she back home. Harvey and the children were already waiting for her. They cooked dinner together. Or more precisely. Harvey cooks while the boys sit under his supervision. Doing homework in their notebooks. Seeing this photo. Sophia thinks that. I don't want the children to lose their father. And of course she doesn't want Harvey either. Go to hell. After the children went to bed. The couple sat down and discussed everything that had happened. Embellishing all the eye. Finally, they agreed to never mention anything. About Sophia's promise to find the power of forgiveness. Harvey swore that he would never cheat. They made a promise in their engagement. And in the morning they woke up refreshed. And prepared to spend their lives together. About six months have passed. And the family's relationship has improved. Sophia really forgave her husband. He is even more so. Her friend Michelle witnessed all of this. Although she doesn't approve of all this. She understands why Sophia is so special decision. One day, Michelle took the elevator downstairs. Mrs. Romero also walked in. Hello. Do you still remember me? I came to see you with a friend who was deceived by my husband. Michelle said. By the way. She really appreciates you. I can definitely see that you are an excellent third generation. A fortune teller. You have been a great help to her missus. Romero smiled. Oh, I'm glad to hear this news. But I'm really happy. Third generation scammers. Don't believe these nonsense. I'm telling you this because I'm leaving. This small town. How could that be possible? Michelle thought. You discovered everything about the love curse. Sophia didn't tell you anything every woman will think of a spell. She discovered that her husband had cheated. One third of people will believe. I will tell her so why did you make her forgive her? Husband Michelle asked inexplicably. Why? Why is it because of a human stupidity? They have two children. Let them live together. Women's love can heal all wounds. If her husband weren't a fool. He wouldn't have cheated on her. Or at least he will learn to hide correctly so he won't die. Michelle asked in shock. Mrs. Romero deceived them so easily. How do I know? He may have died. Imagine his wife leaving him and another. The woman is dead. How could he not drink himself to death? Perhaps he had already died. But now everyone is alive and happy. Or I can tell your friend. Her husband cannot be changed. So what? She will be upset and start eating. Or drink away her sadness. Either she's getting fat. Need her. Otherwise she will be completely drunk. Do you prefer that option? Besides. His mistress has already died. What's the point of leaving her husband you're joking about someone else's life? Aren't you ashamed? I'm not playing. I'm repairing my family. So are my mother and grandmother. Why am I ashamed? If your Sophia wants to leave her husband. She won't come to me anymore. She needs an excuse to be with him. I gave her one. What's wrong with her now no. She reconciled with her husband. Everything is fine with them. Michelle said quietly. But why did you tell me everything? What should I do now? Stay quiet. Sophia wants him to live. 
That's why she's with him. If she has a choice. She's with him because she loves him. In any case. Do you understand? There is one thing I can tell you with certainty. If you tell your friend. You will ruin her family. Her wound will heal again. All right, I've said everything I want to say. Have a good time. Oh my God the woman waved her hand and left the building. Michelle stood there with her mouth open. On that day. Sophia and Harvey were celebrating. Their wedding anniversary. Michelle promised to go find them. We have already planned to have a small dinner with our friends. But now she's not sure if she should appear. She dare not say too much. A few hours later. Sophia called her friend, Michelle. I'm calling to remind you. Will you come? Of course I will. Michelle replied. Although there wasn't much enthusiasm. When Michelle arrived at the party. She saw a happy couple. Harvey looked at Sophia admiringly. And she looked at him affectionately. Their children are playing happily a nearby dining table. Seeing all this. Michelle didn't want to tell her friends. What she had learned from Mrs. Romero. After all, everything between Sophia and Harvey. Very good, keep it going. What will happen? No one knows anyway. Thank you for watching. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to likes and comments. So we'll see you next time.